Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you. Hear the prayers of your servants and guide us in the way of justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today we continue offering the uh, Mass for civil needs, the, for the preservation of peace and justice as we approach the inauguration of our next president and violence seems to be uh, imminent. So uh, we pray for this peace. We pray for those who may uh, desire violence as a means of achieving their end, that they would quit from that idea and that they would instead seek peaceful means to achieve their ends. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of the world, under whose governance the design for all the ages unfolds, be attentive, we pray, to our petitions, and grant to our times tranquility and peace that we may exult you with unceasing joy in praise of your great mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continuing to serve the Holy Ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate the same eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end so that you may not become sluggish but imitators of those who through faith and patience, are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so, after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now men swear by someone greater than themselves, for them, an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to give the heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an oath so that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord all my, with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. 
Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. <clears throat> As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this the Pharisees said to him, Why are they look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need, and he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was a high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priests could lawfully eat and shared it with the, his companions? Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of God, Son of Man is Lord of the of That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the letter to the Hebrews can get a little bit complicated. And so I think that we could, um, we could maybe distill it down into something that, uh, that makes sense or something that's maybe a little bit simpler to take with us. We put our faith in God because he is true to what he has promised. That's what he wants from us, this anchor of the soul, something that keeps us steady, something that keeps us firm, sure and firm. There, is, uh, there are, again, so many things in our world that would cause us distress, particularly what's going on in the lands of violence in the next few days. We pray that the Lord would be merciful to us, would turn the hearts of those who um, would result, would uh, <clears throat> use violence to achieve their end and bring peace to us. Perhaps he can call them back to their Christian roots, as I imagine many of them would claim to be Christian and to say we have a Lord who is a Lord of peace. He's a Lord of justice. And it's the Lord that does these things. Not us. Not us. We are not the ones that are supposed to somehow wreak judgment on others. That's the Lord's job. Okay. Um, and again, however true or false the claims are, it's still not our job. Not our job. Uh, Jesus is looking at, um, has an interesting thing presented to him today. It seems interesting that the Pharisees were following the disciples and watching what they were doing as Jesus was, uh, uh, was walking along, going through this field of grain. Of course, on the Sabbath, you're not supposed to do any work. And the work that the, Pharise that the uh, disciples were doing where they were picking grain, they were probably rubbing it in their hands to get the chaff off and consuming it. And so they were doing this work that was forbidden on the Sabbath. So Jesus calls for an understanding of the Sabbath that is not so rigid. He says there are times when we don't 
follow the rule to the letter, practical things, like when David and his companions were hungry and they needed something to sustain them because they were going into battle. This is what he's talking about. So he says that the law is not uh, is made for is made for man, not man for the law. The law is not set up and then man is dispersed upon it. The law is given to man for good order, for good order, and may not be uh, violated. It may not be violated in a circumstance that is untrue in a circumstance uh, that has no basis in fact or truth. So, um, we recognize this and we go forward knowing that we have a merciful God, knowing that he will bring us peace. And we continue to pray for that peace today as we trust in his promises to us and that he will indeed fulfill them. We uh, offer our prayers to the Lord now. We um, uh, pray for Dorothy Collins' uh, friend Marie. Um, we also pray for Marie's sister Margie, and um, we pray for her son Isaias. We continue to pray for uh, Sherry Riley, Jerry Brower's niece. For these particular needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for comfort and healing for the following people, as well as all of our homebound for Annette, for Dan Branch, for Aida, for Anthony, Kitty Spurrier, Mary Prock, Jean Marr, Ricky Maines, Rick, Jean Benedetto, Mary Beth Frosco, Iris Campbell, Carl and Peggy Albachowski. For God's healing touch on each one of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that business leaders balance their concern for profit with the needs of the people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And again, that those who seek violence to achieve their ends, that they be turned from this violence, that they recognize their Lord and Savior as the Prince of Peace, and that they move in ways that are good and holy we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Just in loving God, we offer to you our gestures of love and ask that you accept them as signs of our desire to be united with you, the source of love itself. May our small efforts in the world further your reign of justice and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all um, his holy church. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. (coughs) The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joan of Arc and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please uh, make your spiritual communion with the Lord Jesus Christ. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, says the Lord. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left for us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.